College Credit Plus is Ohio's dual credit program. Students can earn high school and college credit at the same time. Students enroll in college courses and adhere to the policies and requirements of the college. Students must be Ohio residents and attend an Ohio secondary school, public or private, or receive homeschooling instruction. Students may apply to any Ohio public college or participating Ohio private college or approved out-of-state college, may apply to multiple colleges and may attend multiple colleges. Students may choose from a variety of college-level courses as determined by placement testing and course eligibility rules. Students can earn credit to satisfy both high school and college requirements. A three or more credit hour college course converts to one high school unit. Students must successfully complete the courses in order to earn the credit. Even if a student fails or withdraws from the course, the college transcript and high school transcript will reflect the student's final grade. The high school transcript will match the college transcript with the course grade. Students may take classes during the summer, fall, and spring semesters, may take courses at the high school, a college campus, or online. Note, at Paulding High School. Spanish 3 is College Spanish 1 and 2, and some agricultural education courses count for college credit plus credit as well. Step 1. Counseling students and parents must participate in counseling on CCP and submit an intent to participate form. This video counts as the required counseling session. Step two, college admission. Students must apply for and meet the admission requirements of the college. Students must complete a permission slip that will be provided to them with the college's application for admission. Contact the college to learn about their requirements, processes, paperwork, and deadlines. Colleges have the final decision on student admission. If the student is admitted to the college, the college will send a questionnaire that must be completed for enrollment. Step 3. Eligibility. A student is eligible for the CCP program if the student meets any of the following criteria. A obtains a remediation-free score on one of the standard assessment exams as set forth in paragraph D2 of Rule 3333 1-653 of the Administrative Code. Or B has a cumulative unweighted high school grade point average of at least 3 or C has a cumulative unweighted high school grade point average of at least 2.75 but less than 3 and received an A or B grade in a relevant high school course. Two, if a student is seeking to participate under Section 336533 of the Revised Code and a cumulative unweighted high school grade point, average is not available to determine eligibility under paragraph A1B or A1C of this rule. The student is eligible if the student has received an A or B grade in a relevant high school course. B, if a student's grade point average is calculated beyond the hundredths decimal point, the grade point is rounded to the hundredths decimal point. For the purpose of determining the student's eligibility to participate in the College Credit Plus program under this rule. Assessment exams include ACT, SAT, ACCUPLACER, ALEX, PLACEU, or MAPLESOFT. After a student applies to a college, the college or university will notify the student about exam requirements. Colleges and universities will review students' scores using statewide standards. Step 4. Course Registration If the student is considered eligible and has been admitted to the college, then the college will discuss course options with the student based on assessment scores, prerequisites, and other requirements. CCP courses can satisfy high school graduation requirements. School counselors can help students understand graduation requirements and CCP course substitutions. Some high schools have more requirements for graduation than the state minimum. 21 credits are required for graduation at PHS. Example 1. A student takes and passes college algebra. This will satisfy one PHS math credit. The student would then need three more math credits to graduate. These credits can be satisfied through CCP or PHS. At PHS, math electives do not count as math credits. Example 2. A student takes college composition 1 and 2. This will satisfy two PHS English credits. 
the student would then need two more English credits to graduate. These credits can be satisfied through CCP or PHS. At PHS, English electives do not count as English credits. Course Eligibility Rules Students must complete their first 15 credits in Level 1 courses, which include transferable courses, courses in IT, computer science, anatomy and physiology, foreign language courses that are part of a technical certificate, courses that are part of a 15 or 30 credit pathway, courses in study skills, academic or career success. Colleges must post their Level 1 courses. See colleges' websites for details. Once a student completes the first 15 credit hours in Level 1, he or she can enroll in Level 2 courses. Level 2 courses are any other allowable college courses for which a student meets the prerequisites. Non-allowable courses include private applied courses with one-on-one -on -one instruction, such as performing art lessons, courses with high fees, study abroad courses, physical education courses, pass, fail graded courses, remedial courses or sectarian religious courses. CCP grades earned in the college course are the same grade that will be on the high school transcript. CCP course grades will be factored into the high school and college GPAs. Grade weighting. If a high school uses a weighted grading scale for advanced placement, international baccalaureate, or honors courses in a subject area, then college credit plus courses in the subject area will be weighted using the same scale in order to calculate the student's grade point average and class rank. Students should consider courses in a career pathway that interests them. Students should ask about pathways that identify courses leading to a major or degree requirements. Graduation requirements. Students may take college credit plus courses in subject areas that will satisfy graduation requirements. Students must work with school counselors to ensure they are meeting any mandatory testing or other high school graduation requirements. Students may be enrolled in up to 30 credits per year, which includes high school courses. Calculation, 30 minus, secondary school units times three. Max CCP credits. The maximum number of credits allowable for a student while participating in the program is 120. A student is enrolled in seven high school credits in the school year. How many college credits can they take? In the example shown, this student can take nine college credits spread across the summer, fall, and spring semesters. If a student enrolls in more than 30 credits for the year, the school will discuss with the student whether to pay for the entire course including tuition, fees, and books at the college's standard rates, or drop the course prior to the no-fault withdrawal date. What are some differences between high school and college? In high school tests are sometimes given weekly or at the end of the chapter, while in college tests are generally fewer in number and cover more material. Study time in high school required homework ranges between one, three hours per day. In college, a standard rule of two to three hours of homework for every hour spent in class, three to five hours per day. Study time example one. Potential study time high school, six courses, five to 15 hours a week. CCP one course worth three credit hours, six to nine hours a week. Total, 11 to 24 hours of study time per week. Study time, example. Two, high school with five courses, five to 15 hours a week. CCP with two courses worth six credit hours, 12 to 18 hours a week totaling 17 to 33 hours of study time per week. In high school, information is provided mostly in class. Out-of-class research is minimal. At college, coursework will generally require more independent thinking, longer writing assignments, and out-of-class research. Grades in high school, numerous quizzes, test and homework assignments. In college, few tests and fewer, if any, Homework assignments will be used to determine final grades. The role of parents. In high school, parents are strong advocates working closely with teachers and counselors. While in college, parents serves as a mentor and support for the student. The college views the student as independent decision maker. 
The Family Education Rights and Privacy Act protects student education records. For parents to see students' record at the college the student must sign off for them to have access. Accommodations in high school. Parents and students work with high school staff to determine what assistance or accommodations can be made for students with IEPs or 504 plans. In college, students must work directly with college staff to determine if accommodations are needed. IEPs and 504 plans may or may not be included in the discussions. What are benefits of participating in College Credit Plus? Students can earn high school and college credits at the same time, get a head start on career planning and degree or certificate completion, experience college early to understand the expectations of college life, save tuition and textbook costs. What are the consequences of underperforming? If students do not earn a passing grade or if they withdraw too late from college courses, the district may require students and families to reimburse the tuition that the district had paid. The grades that students earn will be on the student's college transcripts permanently. If a student is considered economically disadvantaged, a school may not seek reimbursement. If students fail or withdraw often, future financial aid may be also impacted negatively. For more information, contact the college's financial aid office for details. If students perform poorly, they may be placed CCP probation, CCP dismissal, or on academic probation or dismissal by the college. CCP probation. A student will be placed on CCP probation if they earn less than a cumulative 2.0 GPA in CCP courses or withdraws from two or more courses in one academic term. While on CCP probation, the student may only enroll in one College Credit Plus course for one college term semester or quarter, and may not enroll in a college course in the same subject in which student previously earned DF, NC grade or equivalent grade. CCP Dismissal If students on CCP probation do not increase their CCP GPA to a 2.0 or above during the probation term, they will be placed on CCP Dismissal. While on CCP dismissal, students may not enroll in any CCP courses. A student can request appeal to be reinstated in the program. CCP probation and dismissal appeals. CCP probation. Student may appeal to take a course in the same subject in which he or she previously earned a DF or received no credit. CCP dismissal. Within five days of being dismissed, the student may submit an appeal to the secondary school to appeal a CCP dismissal, or the student may appeal at the end of the CCP dismissal semester. Each school must have a policy describing the process for appeals. For more information, see PEVS Board, Policy 2271. What are the expenses for College Credit Plus? At public colleges or universities, there will be no cost to the student's families for tuition, required fees, and books. Some optional expenses are the responsibility of the student or family like parking and transportation. At private colleges or universities, there will be no cost to the students, families, for tuition, required fees, and books. And students may be charged a small cost per credit hour. Check with the private college to see if they will charge this fee. Students must complete the Intent to Participate form and provide to the public school by April 1, 2024. Students must confirm with the college and the secondary school if the student will take advantage of CCP using state funds. Option B, or if the student will self-pay for the college courses. Option A. Students can choose Option A. The family student will self-pay for college courses at the standard rate of tuition, fees, and textbooks. Under Option A, students can choose to earn college credit and high school credit, or only college credit. Students must inform the school of their choice of credit for courses. Students can choose Option B. All college course tuition, fees, and textbooks will be paid by the State of Ohio, supported by the school's foundation funds and the college's funds. Under Option B, students will earn college credit and high school credit. Option B is the default or standard option for CCP. Students may be asked to confirm the election of option B during the college advising process. 
students must inform the college and the secondary school of the option choice. The final date to change the election of option A or option B is on or before the college's no-fault withdrawal date. What support services are available for students? High school counselors continue to provide assistance to all college credit plus students. College advisors provide course selection assistance. Colleges must provide the same academic supports to CCP students, such as tutoring, library access, advising and counseling. Student athletes should Learn the Ohio High School Athletic Association, OHSAA requirements. Know that summer term CCP courses cannot be used to bring a student into compliance with the OHSAA requirements for interscholastic athletic participation. Selective service. Male students who are at least 18 years of age and Ohio residents are required to be registered with the selective service system. Students are required to provide their selective service number to the public college or university within 30 days of their 18th birthday. Failure submit the selective service number will result in the student not being considered a College Credit Plus participant for that semester or term. The student will be responsible for any tuition, textbooks, or fees associated with the course. Will the course credits transfer? Certain general education and technical courses will transfer, especially from one Ohio public college to another Ohio public college. Students must check with colleges to confirm transferability. Students should also visit transfercredit.ohio.gov for transfer information. Being college ready is more than just being academically ready. Consider emotional and social transition and college expectations. Consider time management and organizational skills. Grades earned in a CCP course are for high school and college credits and will be calculated into the student's GPA at both places. CCP credits will be utilized in the calculation of financial aid after high school. What are the deadlines? On April 1, 2024, students must complete and return the intent to participate form to the school office. Check A, C, T, and S, A, T testing dates. Test early to meet college university admission deadlines if required. Semester deadlines. Summer semester deadline will be early as classes usually start in May. Check with the college for all other semester deadlines. How do you get started? Complete the required counseling. This video counts for the required counseling. Complete the intent to participate form and provide to the school office before the deadline, April 1, 2024. Apply for admission at the College of Choice before the deadline. Contact the college and discuss assessment testing requirements. Meet with the college advisor to enroll in courses. Meet with your school counselor to discuss scheduling and graduation requirements. Do you have other questions? Visit the CCP website for additional resources or contact Brett Foster, high school counselor. Email b underscore foster at paldingschools.org. Telephone at 4193994656 extension 1130. Congratulations! You have just completed the required counseling. You must now see Mr. Foster in the high school guidance office for the intent form.